Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Caveman Barbecue Outdoors. My name is Zay. Today we're going to be doing something super simple yet super delicious. Some Mediterranean grilled chicken kebabs. Alrighty guys, like I said earlier in the video, so this is a super simple um, weeknight dish. Most of the ingredients you should already have at home. And again, really easy weeknight dish. Gives you an excuse to fire up the grill on a Wednesday night like this. So what you need here, four chicken breasts. Um, you can do thighs. We prefer chicken breast for this application here. But again, you can use whatever cut of chicken you want. Even drums and wings. This comes out great. Uh, you want to find some whole fat Greek yogurt, olive oil, salt, pepper, um, tomato paste, and a little bit of cumin. And then you just want to have the juice of two limes and, of course, some minced garlic. First thing we're going to go ahead and do here, just get this chicken where I want it to be. We're going to go ahead and cube this chicken up. It doesn't have to be perfect here. There's no rhyme or reason as to how to do this. Just make sure they're somewhat uniform in terms of pea size. That way everything cooks together evenly. You also want to make sure... If you have any dangly pieces of fat like this, go ahead and cut that off. Feed it to the dog. Again, feed it to the dog. So, once we got our chicken in the bowl here, what I want to go ahead and do is wash my hands first and foremost. Went ahead, got all of our chicken cubed up. What I want to go ahead and do now is add my Greek yogurt. You want to go for about a cup, cup and a half of this stuff. Once we add that in, I'm going to do about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. If you're super meticulous, you could of course grab a measuring device, but you know, we don't care about that here. You want to add about one tablespoon of tomato paste just to give it Good color and a little bit of pop. A dash of cumin, or a few dashes of cumin. A little bit of rosemary. This is gonna be optional. I love it in this application. I think it comes out really good with this food. Of course, some salt. Just a dash of cinnamon. And then you want to do about two teaspoons of black pepper. And then again, to finish everything off here, can't forget the garlic. And then you want to do the juice of two lemons. Going old school here instead of doing a lemon squeezer. Catch all our seeds or some of them at least. Now you don't have to do it this way guys. I'm not really worried about getting seeds in the food in this case. I'm gonna end up mixing this all up and taking the chicken out of the, the marinade to, to skewer it anyway. So I'll be able to catch a lot of the, uh, oops. As I was saying before I broke that lemon in half, <laughs> you don't have to really worry about the seeds in this case, guys. I'm gonna be able to catch all of that when I put everything on the skewers here. I'm gonna mix it up and eventually take all this chicken out. So I'll be able to catch any of the loose uh, lemon seeds in there. But now that we got everything in here, we wanna go ahead and give this a good stir. That'd be a bad idea to not be a dingus like me. And maybe whisk everything together before you put your chicken in there but you can still get it done this way. What we want to do is just get everything incorporated here. Make sure we have all of our surfaces covered on the chicken. Make sure we have all of our spices and all that lemon juice and garlic distributed evenly. And that's looking pretty good right now. I wish you guys could smell this. With all those aromatics in here, it just smells fantastic. Already all got everything nice and incorporated here. What we want to go ahead and do now is put this in the fridge, give it some time to marinate while we go get our fire going. Um, I would say give this minimum an hour. I did say this is a really easy weeknight dish to do. 
That being said, just like everything else in life, if you plan ahead, it's usually a little easier. So if you want to do this the night before, give it a nice overnight marinade. It comes out fantastic. You really get that flavor through and through. Um, that being said, if you have an extra hour, you can go ahead and throw this in the fridge as is right now, which is what we're gonna do while we get our fire started, and we should have dinner here shortly. It's only gonna take about 15 minutes to cook this. A little spillage. As always guys, loading up the Weber kettle with uh, lump charcoal. Um, does not get any better than lump charcoal. Um, no binders, none of that artificial crap. But we're gonna go ahead and get this fire started like I usually do. Uh, we're gonna do a two zone fire here. We're gonna do one side ripping hot, one side cool. That way if I get a little bit of, uh, a little bit too crispy, a little bit of burning on the chicken, I can just slide everything over there and still keep that convective heat over them. Alrighty y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get this chicken on skewers just while our fire gets hot. Um, we're using this plain bamboo skewers today instead of metal. If you're using these, just make sure you have these soaking for a little bit of time. I would say 15 to 30 minutes will do. That way you don't have a massive fire. Um, of course, this is wood, wood will burn. So whenever we get these guys on skewers, you wanna make sure you're grabbing pieces that are gonna be about the same size. That way you get an even cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy slid on here. See, these guys are about the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it's close enough. You don't wanna have a small piece and a big piece on the same one. Now these are gonna be pretty big pieces of chicken here. I would typically wanna cut these a little smaller, but right now I frankly don't care. So there's one skewer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy there. My beautiful wife just ran off to check on my beautiful son. Perks of being a dad, I guess. So. So what I'm going to do here, just so I don't waste this, and I know I have a bunch of stuff on my hands, I'm of course going to wash my hands, don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and just take what's left in this bowl, put it on top, figure a little extra marinade, it doesn't hurt anything. And we're going to go ahead and get these on the grill. Got our fire where we want it to be here, maybe a little bit warmer than we need it to be, but that's going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and put these chicken skewers on. Lid down. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Can't beat it for a weekday meal, guys. Gives you an excuse to get the grill fired up and yeah, can't top that. So what I was telling my wife, who's behind the camera right now, is like I grew up eating this stuff, like anytime we'd go out to the ranch or we'd go out even like on hunting trips or fishing trips or even overseas with my grandparents, like it was just something that uh, like once a week we would grill food and it would be this, so still can't beat the way that grandma and mom did it though. Alrighty y'all, I think it's about that time, I'm just going to do a quick little temp check on these bigger bigger ones over here, make sure we're not over cooking anything. We're about 150 degrees. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do at this point, guys, is we are almost there. I'm going to go ahead and move these over to the cool side. Just let them finish that way. Alrighty. Got all these moved over here. We're gonna go ahead and once again put the lid down, make sure all my baffles are wide open, and we're gonna let these guys finish in the cool zone using some convective heat. Chicken's good to go here. Temping about 165 on all of them. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys pulled off. Throw them on my counter for a quick rest while I knock out my side dish. And we're gonna be ready here shortly. From start to finish, we're looking about an hour on this dish here, so perfect for the weekdays. Already all got everything uh, good to go here. Everything rested over perfectly. As you can see, the color on this is just fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and give one a try here before we get this plated up. And I'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera with the family. Mm-hmm. 
can't beat that, guys. It's so good. Super flavorful. I know I'm talking with my mouthful. I really don't care right now. You really taste that charcoal in there as well. This is guaranteed, guys. If you give this a try here, you will absolutely love this. Go cook it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera with the family, get everything plated up, but thank you for joining us today. Please like, share, and subscribe, y'all. And if there's anything that you guys wanna see me cook, just make sure you drop a comment down below. But again, thank you, it means a lot to me that you guys are here with us today, and have a blessed night. Why use a leaf blower? This is why. <laughs>